Hey guys, welcome to the Ammo Bench and thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more. What we're looking at here is the Uberti Cattleman 2 SSA or Single Action Sort Stoke Revolver, chambered in 45 Colt. This is a Colt clone modeled after the 1873 Colt design with a couple modern updates. The most major being the design of the firing pin. Uberti describes it as a retractable firing pin which means while at rest, the firing pin floats free in its guide, exerting no pressure towards the chamber. What that means to us that carry revolvers, the firing pin is not resting on the primer of the bullet with full force. That does not mean it's completely safe to carry your full six rounds of ammunition, but just safer. Uberti recommends you still carry five and allow the pin to rest on an empty chamber. Nothing you birdie did sacrifices the look of the first generation Colt. The most notable difference we already talked about in the firing pin only allows three possessions instead of four, so you won't get that notable Colt while cocking the hammer. So I've owned this thing a couple of years now, and I absolutely love it. I carry it with me hunting wherever I go, and here, I'll show you half position it's nice it has the uh, numbers there to count your ammunition I don't really use it I just count five and uh, go from there and this is what we're talking about with the positions of the hammer you go one one two three fully cocked all right and what that does when it the sear engages the firing pin is no longer free floating okay it's on a little spring back there to see if we can get it to focus see. so when it's resting on the chamber in there come on focus when it's actually uncocked position, it allows it to push back in the hammer. But what I was talking about with the uh, the notable Colt positions, it's more like C O L T. But all we got is C L L. But that doesn't mean anything to me, really. It's not that big of a deal. I uh, every once in a while carry six, but you know it's usually if I'm just shooting out in the backyard or something I do got a little bit of wear and tear on it because I take it so many places shoot it quite a bit um, the only thing I've killed with it is snakes and I don't know if this is maybe just the, the bad luck pistol and every time I, I carry it with me I see a, a rattlesnake and have to take care of it but it does the job really well. Okay. Uh, I tested the trigger pull on it uh, with our trigger pull gauge, and I got an average of a very consistent two pound pull. So it is uh, pretty light. So. Okay. Not too bad. It's really, really easy to work with. Uh, right here is my hand load this is what 45 colt is uh, sometimes you'll hear it as uh, 45 long colt but this is 45 colt all right um, these things are just longer than like 45 acp and 45 auto when they developed the 45 acp and 45 auto they just needed something shorter that could feed better through a magazine and semi-auto. Now this thing is incredibly accurate. It's uh, lobbing these 45 Colt rounds at um, still subsonic, but pretty dang accurate up to about 30, 40 yards. Like really, really accurate. So pretty good job with this thing. And when I was originally looking for a revolver pistol, I absolutely only wanted the Colt. 
and in my search for one, I couldn't find it at all. It took me a few months, and I finally found one. It was about you know three thousand, thirty five hundred bucks, and um, didn't really have the money at the time. And I stumbled upon the Uberti Cattleman revolver, and it retails on their website. It says around five fifty, but I think you'll more likely see it for about six hundred to six fifty, especially after taxes. I think I paid uh, six twenty for it. Uh, I'm absolutely happy with this purchase. Um, this pistol is taking care of me very well. Um, On to maybe the only bad thing that I found about this pistol, and it's not too big of a deal. You can see I got a little bit of marring on my screw there. I've had to tighten it quite a bit, and um, it took me a little bit, but what I did was I, I just I loctited it a little bit, and it works great. Um, hasn't had any issues since, but after so many rounds, it kind of come loose, and it kept walking out on me a little bit, so I didn't want it to happen anymore. Just some blue Loctite worked absolutely perfect. Um, I said a little, a couple of the other screws got a little bit of marring and, you know, a little bit of wear and tear on the handle there. But it does a lot for me. It's really great. So, we can go ahead and take it apart real quick. Um, how we do that. We put it in our half cock position. We can go ahead and open the gate. Then, we got our spring release here. Or just kind of our little pin release. Then, this is kind of kind of a pain to get out. Hold on, let me go ahead and get that out. It's hard to do this with the camera. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull it right out. Go ahead and drop our pin and our chamber comes out. Then, we just got this little uh, pin right here that the cylinder rotates on. So, it's right in there. Okay. And this will be facing towards the back of the uh, firing pin. Okay. So there's not too much to this. Um, we can go ahead and bring this back to firing position and you can see where it rests on there. We go ahead and you guys can see that, get it to focus here. See how it just um, kind of presses right in there. So it's not resting on your, your primer. Everything you'll do with this to take it apart it's got to be in the half cock position to be able to rotate your cylinder. Okay. And when you're going to unload it, you just press that down right there. Too easy. Um, I'd say the hardest thing is uh, kind of putting this back together. It's, it's not that bad. It's just sometimes kind of annoying. So you just get your cylinder in there. I don't know if you guys got any better tips and tricks for this, but getting this to go in the middle and just on center is uh, really annoying. It doesn't, oh, oh, look at that, it did it right there for me. So sometimes it goes in, sometimes it's a little bit, of hard, uh, a little bit harder. But you just gotta work with it a little bit. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna lock it on this first one there. You want it on that first uh, notch closest to the barrel, right there. Okay. Again, we'll go ahead and 
put that in the half cock position. Love that. Fully cocked. Add it, add it forward. Okay. That's really all there is to it. It's um, again pretty easy. Not too bad to take apart. Not too bad to put back together. Mainly watch out for that. And uh, so if any of you guys are looking at replacing the grip or you want to take the handle off for any reason to clean it, whatever it may be. We're going to go ahead and do that real quick. What you do, you take off these two rear screws here. Not too hard. Okay. There we go. And that one. We got one more here. And it's on the bottom. So the screws, um, the bottom screw, it looks to be a little bit smaller than the two rear screws here. So just make sure, I, I usually just keep them separated, top, bottom, too easy, right? Slide it off of there. Then you can take this off too. Okay. So whatever reason, if you want to clean it, you want to change your grips out, whatever it may be. It looks like it's got some uh, hand inspected quality control. Not too shabby. This is what we're looking at here. Left over. So. So, so all together, really, really pretty pistol. Um, love it very much. They got the pant right there. There you go. And we'll go ahead and put it back together. It's pretty simple. If I could get my hands to to work, that'd be nice. There's no real particular order with the screws. I just kind of thread them in and um, don't fully tighten them down. I just want to get it to hold in place so the screws aren't dropping around everywhere. And then once I get them kind of seated in there, that way I don't cross thread them. I'll go ahead and tighten them down. Um, I don't really tighten them down to any particular torque or anything. Uh, I just get them pretty tight, good and snug. So, get it tight there. Good. Just be easy with the screwdriver. Not, there we go. Good to go. So, and it works. Alright guys. Well, uh, thank you for tuning in.